and welcome to another episode of From the Script to the Screen, Don Da Don Don Da Don Don Da Don Don Da Don 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 Edition. Episode five is out now. So as always, you guys already know. Gotta give a shout out to the creator, Yoki Nobu Tatsu, and want to give a shout out to the studio, Science Saru. Episode five covers chapters nine, ten, and eleven of volume two more of a laid back episode the kids have finally returned to school after dealing with the turmoil of turbo granny and again we know that they've become a little closer so i thought this episode was pretty cute because we see just how much their bond is growing not only did they miss each other throughout school but they were just genuinely looking forward to seeing each other so it was funny how halfway throughout the day they just kept missing each other sometimes they were even in the same room but just facing opposite directions. And it made it even funnier that we know that they both miss each other so much, but when they ended up seeing each other, because of course they're young, things like peer pressure and a little bit of pride mixed in, we see that they end up getting into a fight. But the way that they bicker at each other, just like the classmates say, it shows that they get along and just how much they have in common because I laugh at how quick they are to snap at each other and basically go for each other's throats. I think it's hilarious, but again, I thought it was pretty cute. We are seeing how much their affection is growing for one another. And we even saw a little bit of potential jealousy. We did get introduced to a new character, the girl that's on the cover of volume three. And I'm looking forward to seeing what she's about because again, since this is a world that deals with spirits and aliens, I'm interested in seeing if she has any type of connections to those things as well. But since it was a laid back episode, I'll end it with my favorite panel of the week. At the end of the episode, we see that Turbo Granny makes a return. And what was so funny about this for me was that during the end sequence, we always see this little cat. And I was assuming it's a new character, but come to find out it's Turbo Granny. Once again, showing that she's not to be taken so lightly. Like she always says, don't sleep on the elderly. And she's back again. She's still causing problems for Ken. And is still in possession of his personal belongings. We'll leave it at that. But the one good thing about this is that it appears to be that Ken was able to keep some of her spiritual power. So he might be able to transform at will now. So we'll see. But as always, let me know what you guys thought about the episode. And to the manga readers, let me know what you guys thought about the adaptation. Till next time. Peace.